Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. UI Enthusiasts. Today, we are unleashing the power of Just in Mind for UI Design. Stick around for a comprehensive guide on UI design with Just in Mind in 2024. Ready to craft visually appealing and user-friendly interfaces? Let's dive into the world of UI design. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So basically guys, the first thing is of course to launch just in mind. And for those who doesn't really know what UI is, basically UI stands for user interface. So this is basically user interface as you can see right here on just in mind is basically user interface. The same thing for example for my OBS which is the device or the tool that I'm recording with. This is a user interface. You see these tools, these icons are basically user interface. So here in this video we are going to try to make a simple user interface using just in mind. So here let's search for user interface example and we're gonna try to make one. So here let's try to make something similar for example which let's make an app which is gonna be looking something like that. So here the first thing is to create a new project. So let's click on new project. Let's choose that we want it to be on mobile and we are going to name it UI. Let's make the device go iPhone 15 Pro Max and then let's click on OK. So now after we click on OK we simply have to wait and we will have the mobile here in front of us and we can now start making our user interface. So the first thing is we need to add the status bar so we need to add like the status right here. Alright so here we can make it bigger make it smaller and basically guys this is uh, the user interface of iPhone. So I'm just going to put it right here. We're not going to add anything to it. We're just going to keep it as it is. So this is very important because we need to have it as our starting point. So here we have this user interface. We can have uh, we can find here like everything from this background. We just have to turn them on. So here we go. Let's search for them. Uh, here it goes. There is no background here right and yeah it seems like it is okay so we have here like the percentages which is gonna be pretty good to have now we can also add the status bar or oh, let's keep the status bar yeah the status bar is much better than the status bar number two so let's keep this status bar I'm just gonna make it bigger a little bit as you can see right here by clicking on my basically on my arrows on my keyboard I can make them go bigger just like that so here it is this is perfectly good so what i'm going to do next is to start making the ui of the app so as we said we are going to make some app uh, of like a shopping app so what we need to do is to add some shapes to help us guide through the app so the first thing that comes to mind is to add the banner of the app so here for example we're gonna use the color green um, yeah, something around that. Uh, let's try to have something else appear into the eye. All right, something like that could be good. Here we need to remove the border. So something like that is perfectly good. Now we are going to add some stuff also. So yeah, we have to add a lot of variations. I'm going to move that to the second screen so I can have it uh, open in my screen. So here I'm going to copy paste this. And basically what I'm going to do is to make it smaller and by making it smaller I'm going to click here and have something like that like I'm going to have like a darker color of the same variance in color now here we have this I'm going to add another rectangle which is going to be for example or let's add instead an input text so here I'm going to use this input text function so simply click on input and let's add it right here I'm going to make it smaller so got it let's make it smaller and it's gonna be somewhere right here 
and basically this input is gonna work as our search button so here they can search for whatever they want and they will receive it so what else do we need in this interface we would like to find the button or the icon of search so we can literally go to our browser search for flat icon and here we can find variation of icons that we can add so here interfaces icon which are what we want click on this one and let's choose the color to be white download png choose the size to be for example 32 pixels go right here and drop it down make it smaller so it can fit um, make sure to click on shifts yep something like that so we do the job and put it right there this is perfectly good so we can f also add like profile picture so let's add for example this profile picture click here copy 32 pixels go right here put it and basically let's try to make it smaller and let's put it in the same line as this one so as you can see here we have this UI with search uh, with the search button here it is and the account button we can also add the cart button in case we would like to so I'm just gonna move them to the left a little bit so we have some space for the actual search or the actual um, basically cart button so let's add the cart button right here uh, it's gonna be something like that and it let's make it white as well download 32 pixels and let's add it right there as well so this is just some part of like the actual process of making the the ui design so you have to give it a lot of things a lot of time uh, it's not really that easy to make a ui design guys it's not as it seems to be so here we have three icons the necessary ones so search account and the cart button so now what's next we're actually going to duplicate this layer so duplicate paste it and i'm going to drag it all the way down so something like so all right perfect but now i'm going to use a lighter color of it so here i'm going to use hex rgb and here brightness i'm going to drag it all the way to 140 or we can use something like 170 mm -hmm. yeah it's not really that good we can go all the way back to the main color and make the contrast a little bit or the opacity a little bit lower so let's make it for example 45 um, 45 is too much let's make it 70 alright 70 is pretty good so now what I'm going to do is to add for example images so here product number one and I'm going to add for example a text so there is a lot of variation of text that you can add there is a lot of things to add for example for me I'm just gonna add a random text here and next to it uh, for example here let's say Apple watch Apple watch and basically it's gonna be still like that let's make the text bigger so 20, 26 and here I'm going to add another text copy paste that will have the price and let's make it for example 40 like for fifty dollars uh, the color has to be a little bit lighter not darker like that something like so and then we can add the button which is the buy now button you should simply add it right here so somewhere like that add to cart and I'm going to make it bigger choose the colors to be uh, whatever colors you want so it could be any color for me I'm going to use this one remove the border and basically here we have this function so what we need to do is to add another thing which is a line so it can separate all the products and we can add and duplicate the same things that we have here right here and this is basically a simple a very very basic and simple UI that you can use and make on your just in mind profile or just in mind application so hey guys thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial